Yo, today we have newsletter updates and also we are going over the newsletter The Virtue of Helping Oneself or Yourself First things first, I'm recording this at 1am in the morning Why? I don't know My sisters don't even know I'm recording this My neighbour doesn't know The mailman in Compton doesn't know But it's not always about why, it's about getting it, getting things done at times. The why will come later. Let's see. Should have really done this right before. But I just to show you guys as well, all of the newsletters that we will eventually be going through in order of, of when I first created them to my most recent ones. The virtue of helping others, the virtue of... Ooh, look at that. Logo, logo alert. Change the logo. No more, guys, no more 25 insights. No more 25 involved. Well, at least publicly, it's still, it's still something I, I take value on. But it's, now it's Chance Insights. My newsletter is Chance Insights. My name there is just Sammy Chance. It's just Sammy Chance and Chance Insights. And Five Chance and Chance Philanthropy. Those, those are what I'm using now now this was i like how i said it's a two-part it's a two-part newsletter the first post was about virtue of helping others but i didn't just want to make it about others i wanted to value i want to make it known that the value is also in helping yourself it's not just about helping others you are involved in helping yourself also and it's very important that you take time to develop your mind and yourself and yeah, so I think this post will be a great follow up. I believe that helping other people is the best way to to grow your community, lead with a positive example, and leave a great impact on people. However, I think that is essential to help yourself too, so that you have the tools to help others and achieve your goals. There are many reasons you should that you should help yourself, but what does that mean exactly? So I go over what does helping yourself entail, and I'm, I make it known here that it is not about literally helping someone else like helping yourself like you would help someone else it's about the mentality of helping someone else you you want to contribute to their betterment and in that same way when you think about your put yourself in that scenario you want to contribute to your own betterment and that, that is the entire purpose of it and it, con it entails many things all things from how i mentioned sports physical health mental well-being, education, work, relationships, and all other facets of your life, everything that can improve or benefit your life, add that to the helping yourself category and make sure that you are dedicating time every, at least either every day, week, month, year, those time frames, you are dedicating some sort of time to benefiting your yourself and improving your yourself or, you know, helping helping yourself Three reasons why you should want the best for yourself. The first reason I mentioned is that you boost your happiness. And it's me personally, I can vouch from experience that when I've invested times into achieving the goals I set for myself, daily goals, for example, like reading a few pages of a book, reading positive affirmations, doing a certain book uh, task I'm doing currently, or things in the past where I'd have time bound things that I'm trying to achieve or goals for education or entrepreneurship. When I spent time and helping myself by working on those things, I felt so much happier because I felt a sense of fulfillment and purpose and accomplishment and accomplishing things gives you such a great boost. And uh, I, I give it, I give an example of you flip the scenario, put yourself in that, in the shoes of, when you would help someone else put yourself in the other side of that and how would that person feel how would you feel and that would answer your question on why it is such a beneficial to your happiness second reason is that you emit an aura of confidence when you're looking to achieve the best you can but you can do it you can do for yourself oh, wait what when you are looking to achieve the best you can do for yourself you show signs of high self-esteem and this can be reflected in your relationship with others the great way I can put it is exactly the scenario I mentioned. When you achieve goals, for example, that accomplishment indicates to your subconscious and your mind that you 
have a, a capability to achieve things and that fosters self-confidence and the more you do that the more you foster self-confidence more accomplishments equal self-confidence in most scenarios so that is why investing time into yourself is a great way to build that aura of self-confidence third reason is you have goals to work towards when you choose when you want the best for yourself you will seek that the means and set tasks to accomplish them it's very important to set that to understand that when you have things that you want to achieve breaking them down in goals makes it makes it very achievable and and makes it very easy to to see how to get towards the, that task uh, to that achievement that you are looking for two ways to help yourself grow here are two ways to help yourself grow and i just give examples and there's there's a hundred thousand different things you can do these are just two read books on t about topics you like build relationships with people that have common interests these two techniques are great ways to show to grow as an individual who wants to seek knowledge and then practice it if you read books and network with others you can go far in terms of personal development and personal growth and development yes two ways and i can list of five more things that help you for example going to the gym having a good diet getting involved in sports getting involved in some sort of charity or some sort of entrepreneurial venture or getting getting in to many different forms of education and understanding different topics stepping out of your comfort zone by joining different clubs and communities and also at the same time getting into mindfulness practicing living in the present and there's so many see how this see how you can just change from one to like a hundred different things there are many things important thing is start on one thing build on build on that one by adding other stuff start with one though start with one so things become so things start off easily and you don't overanalyze perfectionize try to be perfect with everything start off with one build on that and you will see great results we will end it here short is video probably i don't know it's very late so i have to keep things short and very quiet as i possibly can <laughs> and yeah thank you guys for watching